okay so today's problem's name is count squared sub matrices with all ones so what the problem states given a m cross n matrix of ones and zeros return how many square sub matrices have all ones so we need to count that how many squares are there that contain all ones so pretty easy to understand and let us look at the example so the given matrix is like this so the output should be 15 so you can see that there are 10 squares of side 1 so each element you have to consider it as a square also of unit 1 you can see that there are 10, 10 elements in this with the value 1 so 10 squares of side 1 4 squares of side 2 so 4 squares are these I guess these 4 these 4 these 4 and these 4 and one square of side 3 cross 3 and you can see that one square is this 3 cross 3 so the total number of squares 10 plus 4 plus 1 is 15 so let us see how we are going to do this so how we are going to solve this problem so I have taken this matrix that is given to us the A matrix and this is also the A matrix only I have uh, drawn it separately just for the understanding purpose okay and this is the result variable that we will be returning and this here right in below I have written the pseudocode just for the understanding purpose that how are we going to do it so in order to solve this we have to consider each element as the right and the bottom most element of a square with right and bottom most square I am what I am saying is if suppose the square is of 2 cross 2 so this element is the right and the bottom most square okay so we have to consider each element as the right and the bottom most element of some square so in this manner we will be going to solve this so here you can see in the pseudo code that we are not calculating the uh, this formula for the first row and first column so why uh, we have left the first row and first column why we haven't applied this formula on this because if the length of the row is 1 then the maximum uh, length of square that it can be included in is of length 1 only so for length 1 we can directly tell the uh, square by looking at the values okay so for this first row and for the first column the maximum length of the square that it can make as being the right and the bottommost element is 1 okay so we have to add these values directly in the result so you can see that here it is not in this if part we have directly calculated it okay so I guess I am clear here now so I will be simply putting these values as it is in the matrix okay the first row and the first column and I will be adding these values. These values are 1, 4. Okay, so this will be added in result. Now the real part comes when uh, we are at this element now. One, the index is 1, uh, 1, comma 1. Okay, so now this element, the current element is 1. Okay, so we will be looking at its neighbor. And its neighbors, we have to look at in this, the updated matrix. Because we are updating the original matrix only. And this is the earlier matrix. Okay, so... I have drawn it separately just for the understanding purpose so the minimum of these three elements 0 and adding 1 to it that is 1 so I will be adding this in result and you can see that this one is at max presented in 1 it can be present in 1 square and that is of unit 1 length as being the right bottom most element of some square So for each element you have to consider it as the right bottom most element so the next element is also one so we will be looking at the elements that are present at i minus 1 j and i minus 1 j i j minus 1 and i minus 1 j minus 1 so the minimum of these three is one and adding one to it that is two and adding it in the result and then similarly for this element the minimum is one adding one to it that is two and we will be we will now come at this one so it is also one and the minimum of these three elements is zero 
and then adding one to it so that will be one so adding one to it and now the next element is also one so looking at the neighbors the minimum is one and adding one to it that is two so now two and so the last element is one and we will look at the neighbors the minimum of uh, the neighbors are two and then adding one to it that is three so adding three to it so the total is four four plus six ten eleven twelve fifteen so the result uh, comes out to be 15 and 15 is our answer you can see that the last one this is included in three uh, it is included in three squares as being the right and the bottom most element so the three squares in which the last one acts as the right and the bottom most element are this one three of three cross three you can see that one square is this one square is this and one square is this so the major idea on which we have come at this solution is you have to consider each element as the right and the bottom most element so in this manner we have solved the problem and we'll code it in this way only so let us see that all right so we'll code now first of all I'll be taking the lens of the array, uh, sorry, matrix. And after that, simply we have to iterate through the matrix. We have to also initialize our answer that was result so and initialize it to zero and after that the second loop and inside that we know that for the first row and first column we have to ignore that and we have to directly add its value in the result so if i must be if the current element should be one the first condition okay it should be one and i must be greater than zero and j must be greater than zero so if these three conditions satisfies uh, set, get satisfied then you have to update your element as minimum of i minus 1 j minus 1 and the minimum of 2 that will be I minus one my J and minimum of I comma J minus one and adding one to it. So this after this coming out of this if we will have to add this in the result. Okay. Alright, this will be added and we have to simply return result now. Okay, so let's submit it and see whether it gets accepted or not. Okay, so accepted and that was it and I'll see you in the next video.